Hey, hey everybody, so welcome back. As you can tell, we are in the nether, or the end of the nether, ha. Huh. Uh, obviously I'm on creative because I just broke bedrock. But, um, today I will, or if you haven't noticed by the title, uh, I will be showing you how to make an Enderman XP farm. Um, I've actually just built this in my server, um, or I'm almost done. So let's get started here. So I do know guys is that what you can do is make control blocks and I am actually doing this is you just stick a control block here and you put a button and you click it and then it um, can teleport you all the way to there. But you still need a base to uh, build off of and things like that. I hope you have a better day. Okay. Sorry, that's my sister. Um, so, today, so yeah, so, you just need a better base, you need a base to start off of, and you can't just start building blocks out of midair, I can't place a block right now, so you need to start from back here. So what I do is from right here, I check the coordinates for what it is right here, and see the, let's see which way is this, so. I went this way I'm going up in the X see that so if I'm going this way every block is another X number so what I do is right here I get the X number here 115 so I don't have to count out each block and what I do is I go all the way out here we're gonna build about 250 blocks away Yes, guys, 250. The reason for this is because it's going to, yeah, create some nice spawning and things like that. Also, um, I do have it on Peaceful right now just for this video because it's really annoying building these things. And they're, like, constantly all over, like, this pathway and stuff. Like, when you're trying to put down tracks. But now that they have control blocks, it doesn't really matter. So, um... Let's see, so we want to go out to about 365 on the X. Um, yeah. And the reason we go out so far is because it just, it, it we don't have to load the chunks over there. Um, makes it faster. Uh, let me actually, options, video settings, uh, nope. There we go, normal. Because now we don't really need anything but normal because we won't be able to see anything other than what's right in front of us. Um, so we get down to 65 about there. Alright, so we're about 365 here. Let's go, I don't really care. It doesn't have to be perfect. but Okay, so we went about 250 blocks. Let's turn off F3. And let's see, let's see, where are we right now? So the Y is 49, and you're going to probably be building up about 60 blocks, 70 blocks. So you don't want to pass the old height, the old max height. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to about 20, or maybe even, because in my, yeah, we'll go down about 20, down to about 20. So we can keep F3 on now. Sorry if it's hard to see, guys. Here, why don't I actually do this? Well, that didn't help at all. It, I, I can't even see a difference, really. So if you guys can see a difference, I'll keep it up there, but I can't. So we're going to go down to 20Y, which is not that bad. That's pretty quick. And if you're on survival, what I recommend is bringing some water along. Because what you're going to have to do is do the... Uh, like, if any of you guys have played Skyblock, when you stick it down right here, and you gotta follow the current down and, like, place a block after block. Oh, God, that's so annoying. Um, if any of you guys know what I mean. Oh, it sucks. Um, so we'll actually go down a little bit more. That'll be probably nice. Just to get a little. I'll probably go down to about 10, because it doesn't take much time. Um,. Alright, all right, where I was. Alright, so we're at about 10 right now. What I want to do is just build out a little bit more. You 
do, don't have to do it much. It really doesn't matter here. And then what you can do is start building a little platform, you know, like where you're kind of just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's turn off F3. So, like, so when you get down here, you've got a place to be kind of thing. So you aren't just... I also like to cover the floor in glowstone when this happens because um, it also stops spawning in here. But it will be too high, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's say you built this, and I'm just going to make it kind of a smaller one because we don't, for the purposes of this video, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what size it is unless you want like a mansion down here, which is fine. It's completely fine. I'm right now though we are making an enderman xp farm and not a house if i was showing you how to build a house i would be calling this the how to build a house in the end 250 blocks away from spawn <laughs> pretty much um oh sorry for that sound um so yes um so that would be our platform here then what we'll do is it doesn't really matter i like it to be in the middle um build about here and you start going out again um i actually like the length of this and let's make it so one and one two three so the reason i'm putting out three is because there'll be a railing on this so what we're doing right now is building the base where all the endermen will farm or fall farm um i do know of a um way to make it so that um, there's a piston where they fall there'll be pistons underneath where they fall and what you can do is click a button or a, a lever and it'll go down to where then it'll be in kill mode and not um, XP farming mode I don't I'm not gonna show you that right now because truthfully I don't know it that well if I did I'd be doing it in my world but I didn't because yeah I'm too lazy um, so let's see. That looks good. Let's go out. So you're going to want this to be, let's see. You're going to want this to be one, two, three, four, five, six wide, probably. doesn't matter how long. It just matters because however long you make it is also going to be where all the piston stuff goes at top. Um, so then what you'll do is you'll fill all this in. Do, 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 guys don't like building don't watch s tutorial videos it's <laughs> pretty much all it is sometimes it's a little bit of redstone um sometimes it's not oh, i know i missed that block sorry guys um and because i went out three so let's see so let's grab let's just grab some fence posts so we don't fall off just obviously doesn't really matter for me but let's just say this is why I built it out three because the fence posts are gonna keep it from um, just doing its thing here so then you won't fall off and but doing that extra block around or extra three blocks around then gives you extra space around it so what I'll be doing here so let's see so right here will be the spawning area. Oops. It's really hard to see. I also make this glowstone because they will uh, spawn down here. Which is a problem. I think it is. Alright, let's go down here and do the same. Do, 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 do and yeah so this is a design that i have looked up um i think it was doc m77 but he also copied it from somebody which i cannot name right now i don't know um but yeah I, yeah i don't know that um if i did i would tell you but it is a very it's used in a lot of different like it's kind of the main XP farm. So I'm just kind of doing what a lot of people have already probably shown you. And I'm just doing it in depth. Because I know, like, when you're looking at LP world, 
and like you're watching them and they built it like i know somebody that i was watching and it was like dude how do you build it though he never showed us he just said that like yeah i did all this and that he never really actually showed us he just showed us the bottom and the rings and he never showed us all the piston work at top so i wanted to show you guys the piston work so then what you're gonna do is from here make sure i've got this right it's a lot of complicated stuff that I don't always remember <laughs> truthfully okay well this all this is the ceiling to our it doesn't really matter because this will be too wide and you will probably want to cover this with water um, because they will spawn up here pretty they will spawn anywhere that there isn't water actually truthfully I would water the whole island because it will uh, increase your spawn rate like crazy. I have not done it yet in mine, but it is worth it. It's one of those that it will make it a lot better. Alright, so um, let's see what's next. So then you start going from here and you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9, 40, 41, 42, 43. So the whole, the, well, alright. So right here, this is the 43rd, and this is a, is high, this is where they need to drop from. So right here. They will take, they'll have half a heart left. So let's make sure we counted that right, because to mess that up would then be annoying. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Wait, what? Did I count wrong, guys? It doesn't matter if this is why I'm doing it now because if I had to redo a lot of this, that would stink. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. All right, I had it right. I, that last one, I was kind of starting just to count and not actually count the number. Um, so, yeah. Have you ever guys ever done that where you're kind of just counting and then you're like, wait, I just counted way higher than I needed to? Or, like, you kind of just started counting and then you weren't counting the blocks themselves? Yeah. That's what I just did. I got into a daze of counting. Yeah, that's right. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up and every... So what you're going to do is in between each one of these, you're going to leave a too high block so that they can't get in here, right here, but they can't get out. So they can't spawn right here and they also can't get out. And then what I do is I stick some fence posts. Well, actually, no stick full blocks here because um just on this level but uh, the reason for this is because you should probably put water around these edges i do have it set for peaceful again guys so you won't be seeing any endermen but they spawn everywhere like it's pretty insane um so i'm gonna put water around the edges here just I don't really care about my pathway there that can get... Oh, wait, no, I want to actually get rid of that right there. Ah, the weird... The new, like, weird... Um, I feel like the water here is just completely awkward. But what I can do is just build out one... And, like, so then you'll obviously put a roof on here and water that all off. And wee! Okay. So you guys understand. Um, this would all have water on it all the way around. Oh, oops. I didn't fully cover it in. 
Huh. There we go. So let's just say you go around, you put water everywhere. You did it. You're happy. You feel like you've done a lot. Well, there's a lot more to come. So don't think that you've done everything yet. Um, I'm just kidding, guys. You've done actually quite a bit now. Um, you're getting there. Um, so you put that there. That goes there, and that goes there. So then, you know, you've got your nice fancy waterway going into here, and you feel all good. So, next, you're going to build these rings all the way up to 43. You can also do the piston stuff right now, which actually I will be doing, because you guys get the gist of the rings and things like that. And at the end, I will show you mine in my server. It's not a, it probably won't be, it definitely will be better than this because I'm only going to do like a few of these piston things up here. But I will say the, um, cause I'm actually, my one in the end in my server is actually not great yet. I have not put a whole lot of rings on it of these pistons. So it will happen. So yeah. So then what you do is oh wait let's make sure I don't want to mess this up guys so I mess this up then it's just stupid and um here wait give me one second guys all right guys so I am back um I wanted to make sure the rings were right and they are so well that I knew what I was doing actually um just wanted to make sure that the because what happened is is I wasn't sure if this next ring was going on this block, and it actually matters a lot. Um, so, guys, you will build out, build out until it matches it matches all the other rings. Obviously, because I didn't build all the rings up, it's a lot harder to do. But it is possible. You just go down there and count how many are around, and ta-da. Um, so let's see. This would be. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! I kind of just lost a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought. Um, so let's see how far we are now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Huh. Good timing to go check. Alright, so that should be the exact same size as the rings that you have built up. And then what you're going to do is build this uh, one up three. Yes, fun, fun building. The other one that I did took me so long because I had to watch a video while doing it, and that was tough. The redstone's actually quite easy, and for the one red harder, like one of the things that I thought this would probably be the hardest thing was the redstone. Um, and it's a really easy pattern that I figured out. So then what you do is you can get a transparent block if you don't know what a transparent block is it's a like a sign or a button that you can fall through but it also stops vines from growing and that's the whole reason we put these on the bottom row so what you do is you go like this and you do have to make sure that this is too wide um, if this is not if this whole thing isn't too wide it will not work uh, the reason why is when they fall so they're gonna fall from above right from up here when they fall with the um when they fall from up there the vines are there to reset their fall reset how far far they're going to fall so um obviously creative very nice for this you don't have to go get shears and vines and um so what you'll do is you'll make this wall on both sides they can't grow anymore 
that was the whole reason so it can't reset their fall damage even more so what happens is that when they fall from right here this is the 43rd block and they're going to go all the way down until they're um, at half a heart and then they all will be one shot kills um, so yes and the reason you do the rings all the way up is so they don't move around and get out of there and all that kind of fun stuff so this is why you do it too wide is because when they're falling down from up here this resets their fall damage and then they go down so that's the whole reasoning there so then what you do is you come from up here you build out one uh, extra layer here this is all the redstone stuff and I'm only going to show you a layer because then what you do is you keep repeating I might actually show you two because it also matters what the next height is and I will show you all that later so what you do is you build all this up right here um, and then what you do is you put oh I forgot these uh, pressure plates put pressure plates all in the first row here along with the other side also this is really repeating itself on both sides I could just show you one side but I'll show you both um, we can test it out but I would have to build the rings that's why I'll just show you in my server so then what you do is you go like this and this and this and this and this this and this and this and this uh, you also go so then what you do is every other block or every other pressure pad you're putting a redstone right behind it um, and then you want the repeater you want to be uh, on the right here you want to be looking towards the pressure plate and put down the repeater it does matter what size side it is on so it could not work if you didn't do it like this or right, so you have to do it you are facing the pressure pad that's how you have to do it if you don't do it that way then it w will not work if you do it from the outside I don't think it works I actually uh, usually it matters so then what you do is you build up I am you can obviously do this with a different block you don't need it with obsidian it doesn't matter as long as it doesn't melt like ice or something like that that would just yeah don't mess with ice around light I've figured that out the bad way and like houses and stuff God. They, I thought it would be a cool design, and then when there was too much light around it, it melted them all. Well, so let's get off that story. So then what you do is every block, you put a piston facing you, and you are facing the pressure pad from the inside of the trap. If you understand that, good for you. It's pretty self-explanatory. So you're just making them all these face the repeaters and the redstone. And then what you do is you... I can't put obsidian on here because pistons don't move obsidian so I'll just put iron blocks because I think they look good with the obsidian again it doesn't matter what block you use you can use any block um, I also like obsidian because I'm pretty sure enderman can't pick them up pretty sure um, I'm not completely sure so then you've got your first row what happens is they stand right here and they're like ah and then they fall down to their 43 blocks and get hit so then that's what happens there then what you do is I would half slab these but you don't have to do any more of these up actually truthfully um, so then you will let's say you half slab these da, 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 da. and then you have to go one two three and then right there is when you're gonna build your next level so you do the same thing again right there And you do this again. I'll show you one more. I'll show you just this this half side of the, um, just this side of it. And these pistons will be only a two block high gap when it is done. You will see that. Um, so you put down the pressure pads again. It's a really easy pattern. Um, me not being good at redstone and me still remember. And I'm still able to remember it. That is quite surprising, actually. I'm really bad with redstone. So obviously, this is an easy pattern, um, even if I'm able to learn it. Um, yep. Yeah. So then you do the same thing as down there. I've never actually tried that. Let's see. That doesn't work. 
facing from the back and doing it? I don't think it does. Yeah, see? So you do have to do it this way. Um, I know many people that do not specify that, so I will for you. So then what you do is you do this and see how this is now only a two, a two high gap here. One, two. And then you go over and the rest of the pattern is, well, I'll just do it. So there you go. Obviously there will be another side over here, all that stuff. But what happens is you'll build up. This is now too high here, so that nothing can get in here. You'll half slab this, and at the very top level you'll probably half, half slab the pistons and those kind of things, because then they won't get there. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so yeah, let me go show you it in work on my server. I'll see you guys in a second. Bye. Hey guys, so I am back and we, so you guys just saw me build the whole thing and this is my one in my server actually. So I was talking about how I don't have a enchantment room and I haven't fully finished this. I actually have now. Um, that was this morning. I took the time to finish it up. Uh, and so yeah, so this is now my pretty much completed. I'll probably put a few more things in here, here and there. Uh, obviously food, but let's get rid of these levels if I can. Oh. That's cool. I haven't even noticed that. This is all TMI, so. That's cool. Um, so, let me get rid of these levels. Let's see. I think this is the best way to do it. Let's grab an anvil. Is that under? What is that under? Never actually found it yet. Let's see. Decoration. Yeah, it's under decoration. That's right. So let's stick one of these down. Um, wait, wait, wait. Survival. And then stick this in here. Diamond solid. War. Diamond swore. And. Diamond word. Alright, so now we are at zero levels right now. Um, let me also get a stack of cooked meat. And change it difficulty hard the reason I did do this is I stopped the, the reason I stopped the difficulty for a minute is to see how long it really takes them to come down um, also another thing is me and Javery actually went through and watered the whole down uh, the whole area so yeah, as you can tell, this doesn't take very long for them to start falling. I now have 10 levels on my spawner, and it does not go above the height limit of 128. Um, it's actually pretty nice. If you have about 15 levels left, you're able to make quite a few extra, because each level is only about 3 or 4. 3 or 4 or 5, I'm pretty sure. So it doesn't take that much. So we now we have watered the whole island. Um... And I haven't given them much time to spawn, actually. If I gave them probably maybe a minute, I would have enough to get to level 30. Um, me and Javri actually gave it a second, and it took it took probably about two minutes, and we had this whole thing just full, like, packed. Sorry for those sound things, guys. So, as you can tell, it works quite well. I'm already at level 16. Um, it's pretty successful. Um... And I do recommend putting glowstone on the floor here because what they like to do is they like to spawn on this area instead of falling here. So that is why I put the glowstone there so they don't spawn and they don't teleport here. Because um, what I had happen before is I would be hitting one and he wouldn't die. So this is pretty much it, guys. Um, 
Maybe we'll enchant a fun sword or something and give it a cool name. We'll enchant like two swords. See, as you can tell though, because you're whacking so many times, it um, does lower your hunger a lot. That is one thing about these, is you need food on hand. That is why I made a whole chest with pork cooked pork chops, because you eat a lot while you're punching things. Think about it in the real world. Are you When you're punching things, are, do you get hungry? Yes, especially when you're punching, like, tons of entities. Let's see, and almost there. There we go, level 30. So as you can tell, that didn't take too much. Let's get all the ender pearls. And this is pretty insane. Look at that. Giving it, like, that was probably about a two minute or so. Getting all those, and if it if I had let it fill up, it would have been way faster. So let's switch back to creative, just to make f have some fun with these swords. Thirty sharpness three, that's fine. Thirty looting two, smite four. So when you combine these with the anvil, this will probably be one of the better swords in the game. Let's see that and that. Looting to what? No, no, no. I want sharpness three on it. What? You can't mix these two? Oh, that's just me mean. That really is mean. I'd rather have sharpness three and looting two. And let's give it a cool name. Um, Jerry. All those have 276? Yeah. So now I have Jerry in my hands. Wonderful Jerry. Oh, also another thing. Let's see how many Ender Pearls. Yeah, let's put these in a chest. Oops, not those. Um, so yeah, guys. This is pretty much the end of that episode. Um, had a little bit of fun enchanting and things like that. Oh, also guys. With the command blocks. Um, don't put a command block on glowstone or like the coordinates on glowstone because it is not a full block um, it's considered I think a transparent block so that's why you know like sometimes your items get stuck in it and things like that oh decline um, so yeah um, I guess this is the end of this video so I hope you like and please rate subscribe and comment and do all the good stuff that you guys do as usual um, I hope you like this I do think this will probably be a little bit higher on my video views list because I do so like it's a tutorial and tutorials seem to get a lot of views so yeah sorry for the Skype um so yeah I guess I will see you guys next time bye Woo!